Thanks to Jesus, you are free from the law of sin and death. That's true. Make this declaration. Declaration. I am healed because I obey God's word. I seek the blessing and avoid the curse. Healing is mine. I live in divine health and I will never be sick another day of my life forever. That's a lie by Kenneth Copeland, um, Chris Oyaki Lome, and the rest of them. Welcome to the moment of truth. Yeah, what I just read is true if you are under a good age. Because the Bible says, Unto the upright there ariseth light in the darkness, is gracious and full of compassion and righteous. When your own obedience is complete, then you can say whatever you want to say. You command Satan to, to get out and he has no choice than to obey. But when you are living in disobedience, when your head is under all these men, all these men that's living in disobedience to the word of God, your confession is nothing. Because without holiness, no one, nobody, no one will see God. God is righteous. He doesn't have time for nonsense. Kenneth Copeland is collecting money, deceiving people that seek to be confessing all these confessions. If you've been to Christ Embassy, you will know that's what they do there as well. If I have to pay you for doing all this confession, then God is not there. It's a lie, it's a scam. I know of a young lady, she was blind from age 19. True, due to her own evil. She was born in London, so they flew her back to London. She died at the age of 34, still blind. I knew her from MFM. And from MFM, then she goes to, she attended Kenneth Copeland, the crusade. She traveled to America. When Kenneth is in London, she will go there. And she pays to go there. She end up, because nothing was happening, so she end up in a VPA, you know, the Green Church in Barking. That's where she dies. She dies at the age of 34. Confessing all these things without holiness. It's nonsense, it's rubbish. They will just collect your money. Oyakilome is doing it. A lot of them are doing it. Collecting people's money. Making them sell rich. Lying to people that they have healing power. They don't have nada. No healing power, nothing. They cannot even heal themselves. Sometimes you see them, they look sick. Sometimes they, you see them, they look haggard. Sometimes you see them, they look very thin. Their family are sick. All of them are sick. They they, 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 they cover a lot of things. They will collect your money, don't go to the doctor. They nearly killed me. I used to confess all that nonsense. My, my doctor is, a, he, 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 he's a, um, he's an Islamic man. He will ask me to do this, to do that. We know, obey. I say, no, he's of the devil. My God can heal me, blah, blah, blah. Years later, I nearly died until I started obeying the, 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 the medical, the, 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 the medicine, using medicine, obeying the doctors, attending all my appointments and all that. So I'm now like, 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 like a new being with, with God on my side. So confessing all these things, under all these corrupt men is a lie, is a gimmick. They will just collect your money and that's what they've been doing. They destroy a lot of lives. A lot of people are in their graves today. They have no solution. Look at Benny Hinn. Benny Hinn will come, will come out and confess. I give that to him sometimes. And he still go back to his, to his nonsense. You never see a Yakilome. Why is he not? Why, why, why did he run away from uh, South Africa? Look at Samade Yemi. He ran away as well. They are doing all this nonsense, all this rubbish. I put all their things there. The same thing with uh, Suleiman. The same thing with Sunday Adelijah. That's why God is flogging all of them. God is disgracing their hair and there. My own message is simple. If you are sick, please go to the doctors. 
go to the doctors. It's good to confess all this confession. It's good because it's biblical, but still go to the doctor and trust God. Don't give anybody your money. Use your money to help the poor and the needy. I'm regretting today all the money I've given to these people. When I was in Christ Embassy, I was platinum on top, receiving award and all that. I will work, 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 business, 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 and give my money to them. I'm regretting today. The same thing with uh, RCCG, the same thing with uh, Oyedepo, the same thing with um, Ashimolowo, the same thing with uh, Olukoya, giving my money to them. I lost those small, small ones that emulate them and scamming people here and there. So, if I use the money to build affordable housing for people in Nigeria, just let them be living there. Be living there. I'll I, 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 I be grateful today, but I still thank God. That's why I'm using my experience to, 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 to wake all of you up. Sharing my experience with you. Don't fall into their gimmicks, into their lies. They are all liars. And they will pay. They are already paying, but they will pay in the last day. Because God, God, God will yank them. There's no way God will not yank them with the blood. Their hands are soaking blood. The same thing with Kumuyi, all of them. Stay tuned, my people. See you in my next video. Bye for now.